Up a lazy river where the old mill ran Meets a lazy river in the noonday sun Linger in the shade of What's happening? Welcome to the channel. My name is Kevon the Golden, and today we will be watching Band of Brothers, Episode 9, While We Fight. Um, I think we're winding down, down to our last two episodes of Band of Brothers, and I'm kind of getting sad because this was an amazing series. I most definitely will be watching the documentary. Um, when I'm done with this series, because I really need to know the real facts. You know, sometimes in movies and shows, they hype certain situations up to make it a good series or make it good for the TV viewer. And I want to know the real facts after watching this whole series, because this seems like a very, this was a very interesting company, easy company. And I want to learn more about these guys. Um, while we fight, um, I believe they're going to Germany this episode. We've seen them mostly in uh, other European countries, uh, Bastogne, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, they finally hit it to Germany. This might be an action packed episode. We'll see. So, hey, let's just stop wasting time and go ahead and jump right into this thing. And also, remember to always watch the original content first before watching my videos. We thought that the Germans were probably the evilest people in the world. <laughs> but as the war went along, we found out also that it wasn't the Germans per se. A lot of those, a lot of those soldiers, I've thought about this often. That man and I might have been good friends. We might have, and we might have had a lot in common. We Damn, might have liked that's fish, fucked you know, up. He might have liked to hunt. Uh, you never know, you know. Of course, they were doing what they were supposed to do, and I was trying to do what I was supposed to do. Uh, violin? Beautiful. You got a whole little band right here. Hold on now. God damn, what a fucking trash. Motherfucker, this is just horrific. You gotta build it back brick by brick, motherfucker. Tell you one thing about the crowds. Sure clean up good. Yeah. <laughs> well, he needs a little more sun. That's Beethoven. Playing the classic shit. We seen the aftermath? Well, this is a prequel now. Hold on, hold on. George! Come on, hey, 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 we the good guys. We might be stealing, but we the good guys. Friend just keeps talking. I got two packs. You give it to your friends or something. Why don't you come sit down? Wanna sit down? Yeah. Come on. Nice guy so far. That's it. Trying to just trade and bargain. You is what you're talking about in the pack of smokes. <laughs> so what happened? No dice with the following? No dice. She smacked me in the mouth. <laughs> hey, what? You're on the spoils of war. Where's my stuff? Spears. I, I thought I'd leave it over there, sir. Yeah, to hop out the pussy and salute. <laughs> you got a box all this stuff will fit into? Yes, sir. I think so. Same destination. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'll make sure it goes out first thing in the morning. Thank you. That's some good ass antiques. Find his keepers. Say he's losing his ass off. <laughs> Not bad for someone who's never fired his weapon in combat, huh? Really? Really? You've never? Nope. Damn, you ain't bust the pipe once? Not even. Where the fuck have you been? Like, oh yeah, he had like, so yeah, he's been missing in action a lot. Ain't like he been dodging it, but it damn, morning, the I guess so. Hit over the drop zone. I got out. Two others got out. The rest of the boys? Oh, they blew up over Germany somewhere. Boom. Motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 
sorry. Oh well, it wasn't me. I knew something was wrong with him since he's right to town. He even started back drinking. I thought he stopped drinking. Now he got a few bottles in there, though. She'll be happy to hear it. Sink is transferring you back down to Battalion S3. You've been demoted. Yeah, demoted, gotcha. Because I don't know how to tell them their kids never even made it out of the goddamn plane. You tell them what you always tell them. Our sons died as heroes. You really still believe that? Motherfucker, that's some tough yeah. ass shit to write. Yeah, I do. God damn it. It's just a damn tragedy. It's a fucking war. We'd be in Berlin by now, sir, if it was us instead of them, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not easy. Come here, get down, nigga. Shout out to the motherfuckers in Berlin. Yeah, why don't you do us all a favor? Don't think. Treating them like a jabroni. Hope one what? Watching and one reading. <laughs> oh, we ain't lacking that hard, goddamn it. Know the war almost over, but goddamn. That's kind of annoying. I'm trying to read right now. <laughs> hey, Brian. Shut up. Replace you to come with them. They you done replacements got killed in the first place. And they're all like you. They're all piss and vinegar. Where the crowds at? Why is you acting like a dick? When am I get to with their blood and guts hanging out? And they're screaming for a medic. Begging for the goddamn mother. Them dumb fucks aren't really dead yet. He's telling the truth, yeah, though, man. Me. Gotta stop being you so trigger happy. This is the best part of fucking war I've seen. Germany is almost as good as being home. I didn't get the white Tell him the truth, goddamn it. I don't care how brutal it is. No, y'all wanna prove y'all self from battle and defend y'all fucking country, but goddamn it, man. Listen to the veterans. You do not want to see some water they have seen. Trust me. You don't want to see that shit. President's dead. What the fuck? This is JFK? What about your mind? We again. Yeah. just interrupt the car again. God damn, just smoke that shit inside. Lou? How the fuck did he do that? We'll find some whiskey. Whiskey? Yeah, particular brand of whiskey. Bad 69. Exactly. Man, I need to try me some Bad 69. Is that shit still around? Let me know. We're moving out in an hour. One hour? Yeah. Yeah, just leave that liquor alone, boy. Sir. That's divorcing me. I'm sorry. God damn it, he is just having a horrible month. It's not even her dog. It's my dog. It's taking my dog. I understand everybody has a right to do what they want to do. But how could you leave this nigga in the middle of a fucking war? He is at war. Well, he ain't showing enough love and affection at home. This nigga is at war. He's about to hold his ass. <laughs> Hurrah! <laughs> he got this shit mapped out. God damn. God damn, this is fucking controversial right here. Hey, That's right! You stupid trap bastards! That's right! God damn! Look at you! Talking man shit! What were you thinking? That's enough, Webster. Give it a rest. Oh my god, bro. Rounding them up. God damn! They leaving no survivors. You knew? Oh yeah, you knew, knew. I forgot about you, boy. 
You ain't seen a few war crimes yet. Easy come, he's gonna take the northwest. 10 11, sir. At first, second platoon, swing up to the woods, half third, swing around. Yes, sir. First sergeant, tell Easy the company got this show on lockdown. Don't worry about it, fellas. Okay, sergeant. Nah, damn, he's on his P's and Q's. And the trees aren't fucking exploding from crowd artillery. <laughs> Other than that, it's a lot like Baston. He said, yeah, this is Baston. Full smack him for me, please. Thank you. No, you was a Nazi Nazi. Are you like Clint Eastwood? What the fuck gonna happen here? Give him that look like, boy, you better pick that shit up. <laughs> You got a little Nazi dog. You little fucking Nazi dog. Fuck that Nazi dog. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck happened? Is it the fuck did you find? This a war camp? I mean, a war prison? God damn it, motherfucker. This shit's sad as hell. Open it up. So. <coughs> Chris, you said any of them speak German? No, sir. Now we need some translators. Leave that! Holy fuck, man. What the fuck is. <sighs> we may have to shoot every Nazi. We may have to shoot every Nazi. We may have to shoot all of them. Holy fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> They so grateful, man. This is real hero shit. Okay. God damn it, man. We we hanging every one of them motherfuckers we catch. We putting them to the fucking sword. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so fucked up. Oh my god, they so sick they can't even get out. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god, man. He didn't seen enough for today. He didn't got his fair share of war, man. He gonna blast his ass? Yeah, let's be fucking for real. Let's be fucking honest now, nigga. You got fucking two war camps behind your town. You gonna smell that shit? You don't know about that shit? Yes, sir. We need to stop giving these men food right now. They're starving. We give them too much to eat too quickly, they'll eat themselves to death. We need to keep them in the camp till we can find a place warm in town. Damn. You want us to lock these people back up? We got no choice, Nick. Otherwise, they might scatter. We They're like, it's some bullshit, man. Mm. 
Man, that's tough. Man, this is a rough ass episode. Damn. What's worse? Silent sisters here. <laughs> this is just. Oh my god. Oh, why? Yeah, it's fucked up, nigga. Mr. Business Man. Yeah, this is what your husband was doing. Your decorated Nazi husband. This was the fuck he was doing behind the town. Damn. Damn. The war is over. Fuck, nigga. Die in hell. Rot in it, too. <laughs> now I just clean up after this. This all this is. War over. This is clean up. Holy fuck. We didn't have a lot of sad and brutal episodes while watching this series so far. We had lost some good men, um, some bogus decisions have been made that have put men in dangerous positions, but a they had to do it sometimes, but when you get to these POW camps and the people that was putting them in these camps and the people that made these ideas for these camps, um, every last one of them did not deserve to live after that. Uh, I understand prisoners of war i understand that but when you start just executing them just because you don't think they're people and they are less than less than you you're executing them for no good reason you starting this war for no good reason just off the hatred and bigotry um you are a sick bastard and you need to die all right uh, we, you don't need jail. You don't need a trial, a court hearing. You don't need none of that. You just need to put a hot one in your ass. You do not need to be on this earth no more. You didn't brought you didn't brought too much harm to this fucking earth. You do not need to be around no more. That's my opinion on this situation. I don't want to hear no fucking. Hey, you know, hey, some some people was forced into doing some of these things. Hey, man, listen here. If I had to do some of these things, the things that people are doing in this show, if I had to do the things to people like that, just off some motherfucking telling me, yeah, you better do it. We're going to fucking kill you. Hey, man, kill me. I can't do this to another human being. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to hear about no fucking four soldiers this episode. Fucking, I'm falling on my sword. I'm fucking putting a hot one at me. I can't do this to another human being. Hey, this is some fucked up shit. Like, God damn it. Like, how could you do that to someone? But let's talk about the episode. Yes, this was a... I don't want to say it was a good episode. Like, how could you say this is a good episode? Um, this is a well done episode. Um, I'm not saying the episode was bad or not. I'm like, God damn it. Like... They, they, I'm glad they showed this though. Some things really need to be shown. And they also shown that some people wasn't a part of this. Some people disagree with this. Some people didn't know about this. Um, but it was also the situation. Um, do you believe that or not? When you have these huge POW camps behind your towns and 
you, you're not questioning where these smells are coming from. Um, you're not questioning your um spouse that's in the army. Um, what they're doing all day and um, yeah, hey, kind of hard to believe that. I'm sorry, but with that baker, he was acting like a bitch ass nigga. He's saying he wasn't no Nazi, but hey. We come in here and tell you we found the POW camp behind your fucking town. We're going to need some bread and water. I'm sorry. That's just like that. We found these prisoners, these war prisoners on y'all land. Y'all got to feed them and water them. I'm sorry. If it wasn't y'all fault, hey, we found them on y'all land. Y'all got to look at them. And, um... I understand um, they didn't want to overfeed that, overfeed them because that is a thing, and they were really trying to look out for them in the end, putting them back in the camps. Um, the American soldiers, they were trying to look out for them, trying to see if they have any diseases where they can relocate these people. You can't just release people and say, hey, good luck on your own. Good luck with that shit. Hey, they tried their best. They trying to. See if these people have any diseases, treat some of them, they do. Uh, slowly feed them because it is true, if it is a thing, you have been eating a long ass time and you keep, and you eat again for a very long time, eat again, you might just start overeating and fucking die. So, hey, I'm glad they trying to look out for these people the right way. Um, I see the war is over. Hitler is dead. Um, I guess. Uh, who was the president then? Somebody. I think they was talking about JFK, but I'm not sure. Was they talking about Kennedy when they talking about the president's dead? I think they was, but I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section. Um, but yeah, Hitler's dead. The war is over. This is mostly cleaned up at this point. They're trying to. Release all the war prisoners. Um, disband these big ass Nazi factions and German German armies, and settle shit back down. Calm this shit the fuck down. And Easy Company is have done their best so far. Friend, these prisoners got to be one of the best things they have done on this show. Now, um. I'm proud of all this, the towns they didn't took back from under the fucking Nazi rules and shit like that. But freeing these prisoners, they, that just warmed my heart right there, man. But, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to like and subscribe. When it's a bright new morning, we can loaf along blue skies above. And everyone's in love up the lazy river.